Hello, everybody. Welcome back to American Textbook Reading. My name is Brian Stewart, and in this lesson, we're looking at Science Book 4, Lesson 11, Exploring Electricity. How much do you know about electricity? In this lesson, you will discover how electricity is made and different types of electricity. Okay, let's begin with the vocabulary. The first word is charge. Charge in this meaning means to put electrical energy in a battery. Look at these batteries here. Each battery has some electrical power in it. When you use it all up, the power is gone. So you put it in a charger. This is called a charger to charge the batteries, to put power back into the battery. Next, we have plug. Plug here is a verb, but it can also be a noun. I will explain in a few seconds. But plug as a verb means to connect an electrical device to an electricity supply. How do you, you do that? Well, you see this green part here? This green part, if we take it out and look at it sideways, it probably looks like this, right? I'm not a very good artist, I'm sorry. <laughs> and this is the wire. So this is also a plug, but this is a noun. So to plug means to plug the plug into this thing here, which we'll see later, we usually call it an outlet, but also many people also call that a plug. So you put a plug into a plug. Sometimes, sometimes people will also call it a plug. There's another word for that that we will learn shortly. So plug can have many meanings. It means to put uh, an electrical device into a plug in the wall so that your vacuum cleaner or your electrical device, whatever it is, your computer, gets power. Okay. Switch. You can see switches on the walls in the room. Those are for the lights, right? A switch. Now again, this here is a verb, but it can also be a noun. This is a switch. But switch is also a verb. It means to turn an electrical device on or off, right? The electric device, your computer, is on or off. Where is the switch on your computer? Maybe it's a button. You push it, you switch it on. Switch it on. But it's also, the device is also called a switch. So it's a verb and a noun. Okay. Outlet. Remember before I mentioned this is also called a plug. Some people also call it a plug. So a plug is on the end of a wire and it's also in the wall. You plug a plug into a plug, for example. But we also call it an outlet. Outlet because it lets out electricity. Right? It lets electricity out. The place in your home where electricity comes out. You let the electricity out. It's an outlet. Okay, good. Next we have turbine. Turbine is a machine. Wow, look at this machine. It's really big and it looks very complicated. Something like from a science fiction movie, right? Okay, but a turbine is just a machine. It uses water. It can use gas, it can use coal, it turns a wheel. And as we'll see in the reading, when you turn that wheel, you can generate electricity, you can make electricity. So a turbine is very important for making electricity. Okay. A power plant. Now a power plant, there are many kinds of power plants. A power plant is a building where electricity is made. We also call it a power station. Now, if you notice this type of power plant, you see this very unique looking tower. 
that is a symbol of a nuclear power plant. They're using, <clears throat> excuse me, they're using nuclear energy to produce electricity. Other power plants that don't use electricity, that don't use nuclear power, don't have those. For example, a dam. A dam uses water to turn the turbine to make electricity, and that could be a power plant also. Okay. Generator. A generator is a machine that makes electricity. It's another type of machine that makes electricity. And sometimes people will use a gas generator. They'll put gas, like gas you put in your car. They'll put it into a generator to make electricity. This is useful in case there's an accident or a disaster and the power plant doesn't work or the electricity is cut to a certain area. Some people might have generators at their home. They put gas in it and it will produce electricity for their house. So that's a generator. Okay, interesting words, right? Let's check out the rest of the lesson. Okay, one of the main ideas for this lesson is how to make electricity at a power plant, right? That's interesting because you think about it, we don't usually think about it. We just hit the switch, hit the switch to turn on the electricity. We don't even think about it. Where does that power come from? Have you ever wondered that? That's an interesting question. Well, it comes from a power plant, right? And how is it made? Well, there are three steps. First step, we have energy coming from burning coal or oil, flowing water, or wind turns a turbine. So we can see many different sources of energy. You can burn coal or oil. You can have flowing water. Remember the example I gave of the dam? When you have a dam, it blocks the flow like a river and you can let the water out and the water is turns a turbine and that generates electricity. A very famous dam, we call it a hydroelectric dam. Hydro, hydro means water. Hydroelectric. <clears throat> dam and a dam of course is when you block the flow of water like a river you make a lake but you let the you let some water go through you capture that energy and you make electricity from it so flowing water or wind sometimes when you go to the countryside you can see these really big wind mills right they're usually white and they they rotate when the wind is blowing very quickly and that turning motion turns a turbine, it generates electricity. So many different energy sources. So we have our source of energy. What does it do? The turbine spins. It makes a turbine spin. And the turbine spins a big magnet inside a generator. The generator makes electricity. Aha. Uh -huh. So the turbine is inside the generator. So that's how electricity is made, but how does it get to your house? Well, electricity leaves the power plant, leaves the power plant. It travels through these wires. You see these wires behind these big towers, and we call those power lines, right? Power lines. And of course, again, if you're driving in the countryside, sometimes you see these big metal towers, or sometimes they're smaller. They're just a wooden pole, and they have one line or maybe two lines, connecting all the poles. Those are electrical wires. By the way, those are very dangerous. If there's ever an accident and one of those poles falls over and the wire is on the ground, stay away and call somebody for help because those can be very dangerous. Okay, good. Okay, so that's how electricity is made and how it is delivered to your house. Now, what are different types of electricity? Well, we have current electricity, right, that flows into an outlet or a plug into your house. By the way, be careful. Do not play with those outlets. If you see the outlet on the side of the wall uh, in your room or in your living room, in your house, don't play with those because they could be very dangerous. Be careful, okay? So anyway, 
current electricity. It is an energy. It's a very strong energy, and it can give you a shock. It moves in a circuit, a circuit. It can be changed into heat, light, or sound energy. Heat is what you have to be careful of when, of course, you don't play with electricity because it can cause very severe, very, uh, very big burns on your skin and inside your body. It comes from batteries or outlets in the wall. Don't worry about batteries, right? Batteries are usually safe. They don't have a lot of power. It's the outlets. Be careful around outlets. Also be careful about batteries too, but uh, don't worry. You can hold batteries. Don't be afraid of batteries. Okay, good. So that's current electricity, and that's very useful electricity. We use that in our house for our lights, for our computers, for all the electronic toys, our phones, things like that. Okay, but there's another type of electricity. It's called static electricity. Have you ever noticed it? If the day is very dry, and maybe you're walking with big socks on a carpet, and you touch the switch, sometimes you get a little bzz, whoa, what was that? That is static electricity. It is energy made by tiny pieces of matter, tiny little pieces of matter. When these pieces of matter attract or repel each other, they have a charge. And sometimes you can see that static electricity can make your hair stand up. By the way, if you like this hairstyle, I can tell you how to get it. Take a balloon, blow it up, tie it off, right? And you've got your balloon, then rub your hair with it, and then take it off, and your hair will stick up. Crazy! You'll look like Einstein. Okay. So anyway, that's, that's what's happening there is static electricity is making your hair stand up and it attracts it to the balloon. Very interesting, huh? Okay. Anyway, those are two different types of electricity. Let's go over the reading together. As usual, I will read it out loud. Practice along with me out loud or in your head, right? Focus on the vocabulary and try to match my pronunciation. Are you ready? Let's begin. Electricity is energy. It is used in electrical devices. Most electricity is made inside a building called a power plant. A generator makes electricity. Inside the generator, there is a big fan called a turbine. The turbine spins a big magnet and electricity is created. Then this electricity leaves the power plant and travels down wires to homes and buildings. We can now use this electricity. Electrical devices need electricity to work. We plug a device into an outlet. Electricity moves into the device and then it can be used. A television is an electrical device. You need to plug it in and switch it on before you can watch it. Electricity can be stored in a battery. A device with a battery in it is plugged into an outlet. The battery gets charged charged. Okay? A little bit difficult. Yeah. But I just want to point out two things here. Plug it in. Switch it on. So these are good, uh, useful expressions to remember when we talk about electrical devices. Plug it in to an outlet. Switch it on. Turn it on means the same thing. Then you can use your electrical device. Okay? Let's talk about how the information in this reading passage is organized. Here we have main idea 
and supporting details. Again, the main idea is a general idea. It's a very broad idea. And then the details are specific examples that support that idea. So what is the main idea? The main idea is electricity is used in electrical devices. Your television, your computer, your cell phone, all use electricity. These are all electrical devices. Device is like a machine or it's a tool that you use for your enjoyment or to help you do some work. So that's a very broad idea. Electricity is used in electrical devices. Let's support that with some more details. First of all, we have a generator makes electricity, a beep spins a magnet, and electricity is made. So we talked about this. What spins the magnet to make electricity? Remember that big machine I talked about? Looks like it's from a science fiction movie. Of course, we are talking about a turbine. So a turbine, A, not A-N, a turbine or a turbine spins a magnet and electricity is made. Electricity travels, moves through the wires to homes and buildings. So in our home, we beep a device into a beep and switch it on. Okay, so remember I, I highlighted those two verbs, right? Switch it on, but what was the other one? We plug, we plug. Now here, you plug it in, but Notice into is here. So you plug it, it means a device, into. And you can say in or into, it doesn't matter. So plug a device in or plug a device into. Plug it in. It represents a device here. So we plug a device into a what? What do we call that from the vocabulary? We call that an outlet. Whoops. And of course, you could also call it a plug. As I said before, during the vocabulary, you plug a device into a plug. You could say that also. But in the vocabulary here, we talked about outlet. Most people will call it an outlet, right? Some people informally call it a plug, okay? So you plug a device into an outlet and you switch it on. You turn it on so the device gets the electricity to operate, okay? So a device with a battery in it is plugged into an outlet. So let's say you have a device with a battery in it. Hmm, what device has a battery in it that we use all the time? <gasps> of course, a cell phone. A cell phone has a battery in it, but as you know, the battery charge gets lower and lower and lower, and then your battery, uh, your cell phone doesn't work. By the way, when the battery has no power, we say the battery is dead. My cell phone is dead. Oh my gosh, but don't worry, you can bring it back to life again. Just plug it in, then your battery gets what? What happens to your battery? It gets charged, All right? So we can use batteries over and over and over again. The charge goes down to zero, and then you charge the battery back up, and then you use that charge, and then you charge it back up. And that's, of course, what we normally do with our cell phones almost every day or every two days at least. Okay. So anyway, that was our lesson on exploring electricity. So now the next time you flip a switch and the light comes on in your room, you have a better idea about, hey, where does that power come from? How does this, how does this work, right? I just flip a switch and I get light. What's going on? Well, of course, it's electricity. And we talked about how it is made, what are the sources of electricity, where it is made, and how it travels to your home. And of course, be careful around electricity, right? Don't play around outlets in the wall of your home. But you can play with static electricity. That's kind of fun. It makes your hair stand up. Okay, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and learned some useful words. We'll see you in the next video lesson. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.